that feels good. I know God is working, so I smile. All things are working. Even though I'm in it for a while. Still, I smile. Smile. Hallelujah. So I do look up when you get down. I know it's hard right now. Show would hate to see you give up now. Because you're a winner. What is up? What is up? And get on. Good, Good morning. morning, Jesse and Eugene. Good morning, Simple Church and Pre-Show. Yeah, how are you feeling today? You feeling good? You I looking feel great. good? great. Thank you. You got your living the dream on. New, new shirt. Yes. New it's merch. It's so cute. Love it so much. Yep. It's out there in the lobby. Well, be online. Depends on what happens in the lobby today. <laughs> Depends on what happens in the lobby. <laughs> well, if you're looking for a great time today, I have a feeling that this pre-show and the message is going to be right where you want it to be today, Angie. I believe it. We got great music going on yes, today. Sir. You got a message that's pretty good by that old boy. He does I. I you prayed know. for him this morning. You did? Thank you. Keep Welcome. him high on the list, all right? But it's pretty impressive because we got through homecoming weekend. We did. Our last baby. Benton High School had their homecoming. Bye bye. Well, there's our baby girl we with wish, Sweet Cooper. Yeah, we should have put in Hannah's experience, but we'll save that for next week. She did great pictures of Georgia and. Of the Aguiars or yes. Hillary, but we'll but, copy it next week, Hannah Spence. But next time we should have put in the picture of what happened to her, but we won't even get into that. <laughs> <laughs> but they had they experience. had a great time. It was a great time. Everybody, congratulations for making we through did. homecoming. Yep. Thanks for thank you, Cooper, for taking watching care of our baby. online after homecoming weekend. But then also we had a lot of birthdays. Mine yes. was last week, all right. Yep. But guess who's this week, Angie? Oh, the, the dark Undertaker. Side. <laughs> the Chip. You see Chip Happy out birthday. There. Chip making it happen. It is all about a lot of staff birthdays this week. And you know who's this today that doesn't even make it on here? Okay, Chip's was last week. Christy Rose is today. Christy. And she didn't want no picture on here. She told them She's no. She's so beautiful. She needed She's her so photo. She's so beautiful. Yes. Happy birthday, Christy. Christy, look at how much better it could have been. <laughs> like, like, there's Chipper. There's no better cast role, though, than this one. No, that's It was good. perfectly cast. Look, everybody's like, yes, it that's was. That's pretty fun. But anyway, happy, happy birthday, Happy birthday. Christy, Who Chip. else we got? Happy birthday. There's a bunch of them. Gerald, how about that? Oh, we, got, we got Lisa, I'm sorry. Well, no, we got Ron. Ron. Here Ron we go. Ron Scapalopoulos. He's back there on the camera. Ron, happy birthday, Scapalopoulos. Happy birthday, Ron. That's Shout your girl out right there. to your girl, Lisa. Yeah, that's your girl. Happy birthday. And then also, Gerald Kent. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You got to love Gerald. Look Such at him. Such a nice good. person. The Three Stooges. He must be in his bowling league right there. I think he's on bowling. Oh, is that what? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. They're the Three Stooges? Well, obviously. I mean, I'm looking at the shirt. I'm ready. Oh, I see the bowling pins. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I couldn't see it. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Gerald. Gerald's awesome. And then and also. You got something special? Yeah, because this, uh, I ran into Roy's kids and their guys, and they were just talking about, for the first time, the corn maze, because we're going in the fall, yeah. they're supporting Roy's kids. So if you got to the corn maze, cool they're going to make a is. donation to Roy's kids. We've partnered with Roy's kids for Christmas and all that stuff, but it's pretty that cool, man. That is awesome. Do that. So if you can go get out and enjoy this great weather, go out to the old corn, corn maze. maze. Our kids go every year, with or without us. And support Roy's kids Excellent. while you're out there. All I right? love that so much. Then also our boy Dennis down in Hondo. I don't care. Look, Dennis! Pipping out the Love God, Love People Wearing song problem. shirt. Thank you, Dennis. You look good in it. I think they went down and they're getting ready for another water well coming up. We got something coming up in February, so Dennis was trying to get it ready. Dennis, thanks for watching online. We love you, bro. We're praying for you. All of the team down there in Honduras doing some good. And then also, not just that, but how about this baby right this here? This is really living the dream. Kathy Wood sent this in. Kathy Carter, Kathy Wood Carter. She, East Texas, telling us about a little girl who is living the dream helping other people yep. make sure through a lemonade stand. Pretty amazing. She you support, know? She benefits the rescue mission. Yeah, I mean, how awesome is that? I Come mean, on, y'all. So I'm giving awesome. her love right there. That's a little girl doing good. Yep, so it's awesome. Great so job. Evie's lemonade stand, y'all check it out over there. But Evie, congratulations on doing good Thank as well. Thank you, Evie, for being such a. And example. we're not done, Angie. There's still more. What else you got, Justin? I've got the congratulations to the HSM intern, Gabe, who is the national Gabe. merit scholar. How about Conley. that? Something that was never said about me. This is right here. <laughs> That's right. These are smart kids. These are smart kids. But yeah. we got them working for us. So, Gabe, okay, congratulations. Congratulations Praying for you. To you get all of you. Very smart yeah. young people. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Got a little connection, though, to Gabe. We got to give him his yeah. love, man. Of course. And then we got also Joanna. Let's go ahead and throw that up there. How about this right here? She won. The they won the tickets. Lauren Daigle tickets. She was in town. And for all the Lauren Daigle fans, you might have a little song today that has the dream theme in it that will be happening on this day. That girl's gifted. But you wait till you hear our band. 
today. Oh, I can't Christy wait. Rhodes is bringing the gifted on her birthday, a little Lauren Daigle, and the key. It'll be our gift. Tiffany singing. We got the horns going. It's going to be awesome. I promise you. Excellent. But congratulations, congratulations on your win. I hope you enjoyed the concert. Hannah and them said it was awesome. They Hannah and Allie and Todd, they all went, so it was great. You can't go wrong with Lauren Daigle. Todd's trying to make sure, just for the record, if oh, Lauren Daigle, if you happen to be watching, Todd You're going Mitchell, under the table, Todd. Yeah, Todd Mitchell would really like to be with you. Yeah, he would like, <laughs> he sent flowers, cards. I'd like to get to know you better. I don't more. blame him. There ain't no shame in that uh, game. Uh-uh. Make it happen. I hear right. hollering back there. All right, and then you got Will. How about this? Good luck to his first season. Look at little Will Vance. He's going for it. He's going to play football in middle school. Man, I love I him. I love this kid. He has the sweetest heart. Serving yeah. hands and feet, always helping people. He's out there with Ian every night at Bojack's, just about too. He's out there working, helping He's his daddy. precious. So it's awesome. Congratulations, Will. Y'all have fun Will. with that. And then last one, we got one more for you right here. How about this right here? This is funny. I love this. So the Wilson family sent in. This is how long they've been coming to Simple Church. This is in the beginning. That was all right? back in the day. Back in the day. And let's, then let's see what's fast forward to them today, the teenagers. <laughs> I like their faces didn't change very much. Oh, that's it, so awesome. It is very, this is very what cool. our kids look like right now. But they've grown up in Simple Church. Wilson family, thank you for sending in the pictures and thank you for we love that. the fact that they have grown up right here in the Simple Church. Yes, I love that so much too. So if any of you have pictures, yep. birthdays, anniversaries, celebrations of the, how the time has passed, send it in because we love to see you. You got an opportunity to give those birthday wishes, anniversaries, yes. make sure you send them yep. in. Because we got an anniversary coming up, Angie. 25 years in Very about a month soon. right now. So We're going to make it. <laughs> we're going to make it? We're going to make it. <laughs> I think we're going to make it. I told you a couple weeks ago. You weren't sure I was going to make it. Depends on what happens today. Well, you know what? Speaking of we're going to make it, why don't I tell you something good right now, Angie? Tell me Roll that intro. Come on. Okay. No, no intro. No intro. So that's okay. We're going to tell them something good that happened this past week. Well, we week. got a lot to tell you something good because this is all about the hub. You know, last couple yes. weeks ago we had Cassie here with Rise Up and Roast, but now we got something new, fresh, and exciting. This is the great food fight, and you got an opportunity to help raise some money and uh -huh. help feed people right here in our local area. And you know who the little spokesman is this year? She's going to challenge you. Let's see. That would be little Nora Samanko. Check it out right here. Hi, my name is Nora Samanko. I'm eight years old, and I was born in Caddo Parish. Do you want to know something about me? I have never had to have a day in my life where I don't know where my next meal will come from or being very, very hungry. But there's 40,000 food insecure homes that don't know where their next meal might come from or 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 being very hungry. But I don't want anybody to have to fight alone in this city. So if I'm gonna fight with them. If you wanna fight with me, my mom's gonna make a little link down below this video that you can donate money for, for the food fight. Angie, I, your, your face. Because that precious baby, <laughs> she needs to be your co-host. You won't holler at her. No, I won't. I'll be sweet to her. I'll be sweet. <laughs> Did you see how sweet she was? She said, I'm in this food fight. Oh, my goodness. So why Nora, would you want to help awesome. Nora get in there and help the hub? And, and you can go the app. The yeah. yeah, there's a lot of people hungry. Yeah, so she can make sure... Uh, on the app, you can see if you can give online, and it all goes down to help the hub. So if you're looking for something good to do, that is a great thing to do. That I'm is a great that. thing. And Nora, great job, little Nora. Yes, Proud Nora, of you. Thank you for bringing that to our attention. She did a great job. She did. Growing up. Though. Anytime she could come back. I know. <laughs> She'll do it. <laughs> all right, we got more coming up, and you know we got our little logos on right here. It is also living the dream time, Angie. We finally got these cool shirts in. They're all out in the lobby, right? They're in the lobby at the pop-up store right now. They'll be there the whole time. If you there's, all? If there's some left, we'll be online. You also you know, have the 9-11. Uh, Living the 9 from last week yep, we and the Tunnel to Towers. It's the last time we'll have Tunnel to Towers, though, for sure. So yep. make sure you get it out in the lobby today. And the reason we had to do that is because we ran out last we week. We ran out last week, yeah. So we want to make sure you got If you want to go get a, a shirt, make sure it happens. But last week, while they were out there selling all those shirts, they're yeah. also asking people in this series, are you living your dream? Are you not living your dream? So we had a little fun. We want you to follow us on TikTok. And here is just what some of the people out in the lobby were talking about when it comes to living the dream. Check out this TikTok. Oh, I can't think of a dream. I'm living my dream right now. Well, my dream is to see all of the hopes and wishes and dreams of the people of Simple Church come true. My dream, um, to see Blue graduate 
uh, high school and be successful in whatever he does? Uh, my dream is have a house and a boat. My dream is about robots. <laughs> what? Robots. To be like live with real robots? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, living the dream. See, Angie, you got Roblox going on. You got houseboats, cars, kids yeah. being kids. Twitch gave up. a shout out for the house and boat. <laughs> yeah, Twitch is. It's so the this, American dream. So follow us on TikTok. Follow us on TikTok. Do you follow us on TikTok, Dustin? I don't know you if I do. You need to. You probably don't even know how to follow us. I don't know on. how to follow you anybody. Because you do TikTok now. I do occasionally get on, but here on you TikTok. Can scan so it if you scan the QR code, TikTok. it helps you where you can follow and it just gives you a little inside information. Another way to find out what's going on at the church, Angie. You can follow us here and you can also subscribe and follow us on YouTube. You know, I'm a big YouTube person. You are big. And you can like us on YouTube. <laughs> like, this you is like Angie that. turning into a whole lot You like that of... because it helps more people see you. Right. So we want people to know about you. Oh, we do. We do. So, so go out like there, buy a shirt. Make sure you buy a shirt today. Make sure you follow us on TikTok. Yes, subscribe. and then wear them because you look good in yours. We also have this in long sleeve, which if I had known yes, they were in, I would have As cold as it is in this room today, you I may know. need it. I know, know it's cool. Bottle. It's hot. It feels great. All right, so that's what it else? on Living the Dream. You know what time it is now, Angie? What time? It's time to go back in time. Uh, Let's roll the little intro for Back in Time. Eventually we'll get this right. Eventually we'll realize it's back to the future instead of back in time. That's <laughs> on, it again. That's on me. No, was on you. you messed up this time, Justin. Hey, you know, there, there's, it's no, usually me. <laughs> there's no perfection out there, Angie. It's, Absolutely not. You none. know that. So we're going back to the future to tell you about what's coming up just around the corner. You know what's coming up just around the we corner? We go back in time to tell you what's happening in the future. Oh, no, there we go, Angie. Straight out. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so what we're going to be talking about is the Red River Revel. Every yep. year we have the opportunity. We try to go out there and have services at the Revel. So here it is, October 8th. Mark your calendar because it is a fun It's a great time. time. We go out there and do a lot of music. You yeah. get to go through the Revel for free. And you get to have us on the stage down there. I think we're going to be a little bit different stage this year, but it's because oh, it's a little we? bit better. Yeah, so okay, we'll, we'll go down there and have a little fun with it. But there's even more information I'll tell you about in just a minute because many of them may have forgotten. But when we go down there, we have a do-good component that is associated with everything that we're going on. So we did first responders, nurses, all of those people. We had a great response where they could walk through, yeah. have a little personal experience. And so I want Paul Research to tell you a little bit more about it, and then I'll tell you what we're doing this year for the good do-good component. Take it away. This week, the Simple Church is at the Red River Revel. Hey, we're here all week showing our appreciation to first responders and healthcare professionals, just showing them how much we appreciate them for the hard work they're doing, especially during these times during the pandemic. This Sunday, a lot of volunteers came out to the Revel and helped us put up this tent, this structure, this art project. It took a lot of folks, and thank you for showing up. Here's some people had to tell us why they were here. We wanted to get back to the first responders. They're always there for us, and we're better off to come out here and get some food listen to good music. Do some good. Well, we were pumped up to uh, really be able to help build boxes for our first responders, and we love Simple Church, the music jams. Justin, the uh, other week, you know, at church, talking about, you know, giving back to the community and everything like that. We both want to give back and help out wherever we can. I think that's what attracted me to the Simple Church in the first place, is just the community outreach and, like, how much y'all do in the community, so it's just a really cool opportunity but it didn't stop on Sunday. We manned this booth all during the week and it took volunteers every day, every shift. So here's some great ladies that I met that were taking care of the booth when I was out there this week. So Becky, tell us a little bit about what this, how this works. What are you doing out here today? Okay, what we're doing today is all of us here are uh, talking to people as they have come into the gate here and ask them if they're first responders, healthcare workers, or retired military. And we just kind of get them over in our booth and ask them, um, just kind of start talking to them. Some of them are a little bit like, what do you want? What do you do? And we're kind of like when we walked up with the camera. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So we just tell them we're here for, we introduce ourselves. We're here from Simple Church. We'd just like to give you a thank you note. Someone in our church has written a thank you note for you, thanking you for what you do for us. Nice. And we get them to come in here and we ask them to pick out any box they want. Right. And that's where they get their thank you note. And then it has a number on the back. So we have gift cards corresponding to that number. And that's what they choose, gift cards to Starbucks, Zaxby. They can't believe that they're getting something for free. Yeah. Exactly. And they're always excited with the gift cards. 
so they're just very appreciative. They're like, well, thank you so much. They're very appreciative. They when they read the cards that are in the boxes, you can tell that they're very touched by it. So if you helped last week or if you were here manning the booth during the week, thank you so much for the work you did to show our first responders how much we appreciate them. Hey, if you missed this opportunity, there's going to be another one soon here at the Simple Church. I'll see you in the next video. You know, not only is it going to be soon, it's going to be very soon. And this year we're going to do teachers, which is going to be a lot of fun. They're building a bus. Do you yeah. believe this? They're wrapping a bus. There's a whole teacher experience. We have a lot of teachers on this stage. We do. Excellent right. teachers. Yep. And they will be able to walk through. And your job, should you choose to participate, yeah. is to buy a $5 gift card minimum and anything above that. And when they walk through, it's going to be a way to show the teacher's appreciation. They can walk through the experience. We're going to have handwritten notes to all these teachers again. And then we're going to give every teacher that walks through there some kind of gift card. See? Just because like we're telling you teachers. how loved you are. You're but, so appreciated. Don't... Yeah, Starbucks. And, yeah, oh, Starbucks, okay. $5 is a great dip, uh, gift card. There's all kinds of different ones. You can do Target, you can do uh, fast food, whatever it is. But we okay. want y'all starting very, very soon, like now, to start buying these gift cards and then dropping them off because on That's October awesome. 8th, we're going to have a huge experience where they can walk through there. Okay. Not only that, Angie, you right. got to have people that will sign up and man the booth. So whenever you're looking for a new good opportunity, it is a fun way to go to Rebel because we're looking for shift work. Yeah. We'll be on there for like a shift, maybe a couple of hours. You help the teachers, encourage them, yeah. uh, hand the gift cards out, make sure they get their thank you letters, and then they can go on about their business knowing that they are loved and appreciated. I love that so much. And that is going to be, we're wrapping up the Revel. October 8th is the end of uh, that as far as our services, mm -hmm. but we're going to be there the entire week leading up to that. So that's why we need you to buy your gift cards, volunteer, come and be a part of it. It's going to be a ton of fun. Awesome. And last year they were asking about, is there any story associated with that? Uh, what was really cool is teachers, you know, I would often, because they're bringing their classes and all these different things are going on, there's a lot of them that come down there. So we need a lot of gift cards because last year, the first responders, the nurses, they were like, I don't know if I want to go in that booth. Teachers would be like, come on, man, give me that stuff. I know how y'all are. I'd be like, they, they need that encouragement. They do. So we need a lot of those gift cards and things to be able to, you know, be donated so that you can participate. Okay. All right. How awesome is that, Love Angie? That so don't. Much, Justin. Very good. All right. Guess what time it is now? What time is it? We are going to the boardwalk update, Angie. Okay. I like and, this. And I got to tell you about what's happening because we had some more fun stuff happen so let's no roll a little in intro to the boardwalk update we are about to move son. all right all right now what is going on with the boardwalk this week here is the good news angie mm -hmm. we did more demo and nobody had to have stitches thank god Everybody already, my eyes better. All right, you see it. No you more. so quickly, it's shocking. Yeah, I know it. Ten stitches and a black eye, and we're already back in business. But we had a lot of people. I have to show you this one little video just because it's pretty funny. This is Jocko, one of the firemen here in Bozier. He came down to help. And just watch this. It's only about 15 seconds, but this is the real work behind the scenes of the boardwalk. Check it out. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears, Andy. Yes, and that's why my life group didn't go back this week. <laughs> yeah, did you saying. see the shards of tile flying? He had his safety glasses on. He did, but yeah. what, we were worried about getting hit again, so we were out this time. Well, what's crazy about this is, is yeah. there's a large group again. We had a little my life group guys. I'll put that picture up there for you. They went and helped again. Uh, there's Todd sitting there. I mean, we had to get all that tile back up. We got him a face shield, though, now. See, all right, I'm letting you know. Old Todd got the face <laughs> shield needed. going. But we had a great group of people again making it happen. And what was awesome about that is that even with that small amount of people, we were able to get a lot done. Yeah. A lot. Y'all work hard, though. And hard Trey work. Hicks, I don't know what happened to the lights, but uh, Trey Hicks is also helping out because his company is helping us get some of the other big stuff out right. of there. So we're getting closer and closer and closer. And if you missed the big announcement last week, why we're working so fast and trying to get all this done is because we're going to be there now. When, Angie? 
January 1st, Justin. January 7th. Close. Seventh. Well, <laughs> January first 7th. Sunday. Yeah, the first Sunday is January 7th because we're going to move to the boardwalk a little bit earlier. Yep. Not into this building that we're remodeling, but back into the theaters. And when you go down there, we need the volunteers. We have all the different people that are going to be helping with that. So there's a lot to get done. And you can continue to sign up to volunteer if you want to help because it will take a lot more volunteers. On when? October the 1st. October the 1st. Yep, they're going to have a boardwalk launch meeting. So you need to sign up. Even if you're a current volunteer, go ahead and sign up and scan the QR code. Get in there and tell us that you're going to work because we're going for three services starting on January 7th. And we'll be Thanks. back at the Regal Theater which is crazy already yes. that this happening that Full quick. Full circle. Full circle, son, making it happen. And guess what? We want to show you our 16th birthday recap because we did go to the boardwalk last week and we had some cake, we had some ice cream. We were a little nervous we were we going to run out because there was a huge crowd that showed up. We had a great up. turnout. But here is Doug and Paul to tell us a little bit more about the 16th birthday and the stuff you don't want to miss coming up. Watch. It's your Do Good reporting team. Hey, we're here today at the Boardwalk. We just got some great announcements. Doug, what is going on? I'm just excited they're still going to give free coffee and donuts. That's that's <laughs> number one in my book. But number two, a close, right. close second place, just to find out the secrets out that until even though they're not going to be done with this place by January 7th, we're just going to move the whole party down here starting January 7th to have services at the theater just like old times, right? Old times. That's where it all started and we're back. Hey, let's go see what people think right. about coming back to the boardwalk. What do you think about the news? I'm thrilled. I, I like church at the boardwalk when we had it here 10 years ago, and I'm excited about moving back, back to Bossier. Oh, it's going to be awesome. They got some big things coming over here. What do you think? Woo woo! I love it. Popcorn. We'll catch a movie after church. I'm excited about it. Oh, I think it's going to be great for the community and everything to have like a home base style thing where we can do things on Wednesday nights if they want. You know, there's an area that they can route do special events any day of the week. You know, I started coming to Simple Church when we were originally, you know, over in the old theater and stuff. And um, I think it's kind of fun, you know, a little bit of nostalgia and everything. I think it'll be a great time. So did you go to the volunteer board? Have you volunteered for anything? Yeah, She actually scanned the app for me and um, I signed up and I'm going to work in my regular first grade and kindergarten spot. Yep. Working with the kids. Happy birthday, Simple Church. So impressed with what I saw upstairs and downstairs, and I love how the script has been flipped, right? You know, 16 years of using other people's venues. Now they're going to create their own, not only for the services, but to have this downstairs event center. That's going to be really awesome, something that will super serve the community. I'm excited that we're going to have it all year round, not mm -hmm. just one day a week. We can use it all during the week. It's going to be a great facility, but it's going to take a lot of volunteers. So we talked to some people that did want to volunteer. Hope you're going to sign up to volunteer. What are your thoughts about that, Doug? October 1st, mark your calendar. We need big meetings scheduled over at the convention center where we'll talk more about how many people it's going to take. It's probably going to take even more to pull this off yeah. the three services now on Sundays once this gets rolling. It's exciting. Lots to get into, lots to talk about. October 1st, don't forget. That's right. Be there at that meeting October 1st. Hey, you might even see me and Doug. I got a feeling. All right, Angie, it's almost time. I know, Doug did a great job yep. telling people we definitely need people to come back for the boardwalk launch meeting on October 1st at five o'clock. And we definitely need more volunteers. I know Mallory had said that we had a bunch of volunteers at the birthday party, yep. but we need more for sure. So you can always contact Mallory at the simplechurch.tv or definitely come to this meeting because you've got all your questions answered at you, this point. You have to come to this meeting because we're launching in the third service. You're going to be 9, 10, 11 when we go back yeah. to the boardwalk. So we're filling a whole another hour. And yes. we're also doing parking lot greeters. Those are things that we've hadn't had in a while because yeah. it's a big parking lot. We're going to have signs set up, which is all because you're going through the whole boardwalk. Mm -hmm. Preschool and children are going to be uh, in other buildings in the boardwalk. So you're going to have to have all that set up. There's a lot to get involved in. And if you're looking for an opportunity, this is your best opportunity. October the 1st, do not miss it. 
coming up. That's it. And speaking of October, we got to also go back and remind you, for all those just now tuning in and watching, yep. October 8th, we're going to be down at the Revel, but we need volunteers for this as well because this entire week leading up to the 8th, we're doing a do-good experience for teachers, and you need to be signing up so that you can be a part of that. If you want to bring your gift cards, all of that's going to happen, so don't forget, you got that happening as well. And then out in the lobby, what do you have, Angie? We Living have the, the dream. We do. We have the Living the Dream merchandise. We have the Tunnel to Tower shirts. It's the last chance you can get Tunnel to Tower shirts. Those are in the lobby. Um, Living and, the Dream. And you're getting ready to go to Tunnel to Towers. I'm so excited. We're leaving Thursday. We leave Thursday. Going to New York City, Angie. Going Are up you there. ready, Justin? I'm 5K. Ready. You ready? Yeah, it's we'll actually a little smidge longer than 5K, I heard. Yeah, because it is literally his last run. So it is a little bit longer a than a 5K. Like a three. Three and a half miles, I think. Yeah. So it'll be fun. It's going to be so fun. I can't wait. You, I'll be like crying. We'll try, to, we'll try to get some video for you. Make sure you can have it. Brian's going to be teaching, teaching next week. So I think they got back yeah, today. Brian. He's yep. excellent. So we love it. So, But we'll be thankful for all of you because it is a chance to help others live the dream as well. So go out there, buy your shirts, yeah. get the 9-11 stuff. Make sure you buy that before it's yeah. gone. And get ready for our great Sunday because this band is fixing to knock it out of the park. We're talking about living the dream. They're doing a little Lauren Daigle coming up. All right. That. And that's got a little dream theme. But if you have a favorite dream song, make sure you tell us because we're going to try to work in every week a little dream song. Eddie. Where do you want them to turn that in at? Well, they can do Evan at SimpleChurch.tv. Okay, he okay. always is the, the online uh, professional. The media pastor. So I have a feeling that we're going to enjoy the one today because last week we did two. All right. We did that two dream fun, songs. Too. A lot of fun. But then next week, I already heard a little rumor, and I'm warming up. I might be coming out of retirement. Really? Oh, yeah. And you go, how could that happen? Don't just tune in. You'll see. I might be ready for it. But we're also ready for you. Anybody ready for a great day today? Come on. Where y'all at? Come on. I'm ready, Justin. I'm They're ready for that room. message. Last, me last week's message was awesome. Well, it's going to be fun today, too. This okay. one's even better because it gets more specific, and I'm celebrating people in this room because there are people in this room that are living the Lots dream. We're going to tell celebrate. those stories, and it's going to be awesome. So okay. get ready for a great day. Get ready for some great music. And remember, you can sign up online, all these great opportunities. October 8th, we got the Rebel. We're going to be down there. We need you all week leading up to that. October 1st, we need you to help volunteer. Yeah. All of this is happening so that they can have fun with us right here in the Simple That's Church. right. Be awesome. Now, it's time, Angie. Go ahead. Let her roll. It's time for Robin with the big three. That's it. Peace. Good morning and welcome to the Big Three, the three things you need to know coming up at the Simple Church. Here's this week's Big Three. Number one, last week's big announcement at our birthday party was that we are moving to the Regal 14 Theater at the Boardwalk in January, and we need you to make it happen. We want all our current volunteers and anyone who is ready to start serving to join us October 1st for the Boardwalk launch. Sign up now in the Simple Church app. Number two, Want to hear more about the move to the boardwalk? Well, download this week's Backstage with the Simple Church podcast for a deeper dive into what the future of the church is going to look like with Justin and John. And number three, on October 8th, we will not have church here at the Convention Center because we are heading back to the Red River Revel. While we are there, there will be so many ways that you and your family can join us to do good and love teachers in our community. The Simple Church will have a mobile booth at the Revel this year to remind teachers in our community how valuable they are. Any teacher that comes to the Revel will be able to walk through our Do Good bus and pick up a gift and a thank you card. The hundreds of cards and gifts we need, those are gonna come from you. So you can help by donating a local gift card of $5 or more, or you can give via Venmo or online and we'll purchase the gift cards to give away. Just include Do Good in the comments. We will also need many volunteers to staff our Do Good Bus during the week. So check out the app for how you can sign up and see those shifts that are available. Well, the Simple Church Band is about to kick us off and then our pastor Justin will come up for the message. Thank you for joining us today in person or online, especially if it's your first time. We really are glad you're here. Make sure to fill out the online communication card on the Simple Church app to get more info. Have a great day.